So you do get paid something while you're writing your thesis? Yeah. The value of the college grant. So we still have about a hundred bucks to come. I'll get a better degree, not much else. But if all else fails, I could always teach. Oh, yes, darling, I can see you. You're ideally suited to it. Look, Evan, you want to be a writer. What better place to start than here? How many stories have you had published? Just a couple of kid stuff. If it'd be published at all, it's pretty good. You know, this morning, I, I, I sat down there. Three hours, just to get an idea, even. And I honestly worked. I, I looked at those blank, empty pages, and I just knew that it was a challenge I couldn't meet. And this could go on for days, it could go on for weeks, it could go on for months. Darling, talk to Hemingway, Steinbeck, Elliot, any of them. Ask them if they haven't had their moments of doubt. Steinbeck, Hemingway, and Elliot, they're established writers. Oh, yes, because they went through what you're going through now. They met the challenge. We can do anything, Evan. Anything if we really want to. See now. I love you. Yes, I love you too. Darling, we don't have to keep up with the Joneses or anyone. We live rent free on the island. We are free. Uh, how would you like to go for a swim? Hmm? I'd love to. Come on. Huh? Come. Ah. 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 Hey, wait a minute, my trunk. You don't need them? Come on. Honey? Yeah? Our outline's almost done. Oh, wonderful. Honey, you're a genius. Well. How many children did you decide on in the end? Uh, four. That's what you wanted, wasn't it? Oh, yes, but you have some say in the matter. Your Majesty, that's very good of you to recognize that fact. Well, I just want to finish this because, uh, I want to make it formal. The end. I'll have to sail into town this afternoon, uh, and we'll mail this. Mm. Oh, brother, there's golden D there pages. Now we can concentrate on our personal life for a while. Now we can get started on our house. Well, aren't we perfectly happy here? We said from the beginning we were going to build a house on our island. Tina, my love, you have a deplorable urge toward middle-class respectability. Darling, until we have a roof over our heads and a cistern under the house, we'll never have enough reserve of fresh water. You said yourself we ought to get it stored before the dry season. Did I say that? Mm. That was rash of me. Uh... All right, uh, we'd better start some detailed planning. Oh. I did a sketch the other night based on the ideas you gave me. I figured out the total volume of concrete you'd need. You're quite sure you weren't trained as an architect just on the side. Quite. Huh? So will you be when you check these... Could you bring back some cement from road time? So... No, I thought I'd start digging the foundation. Today? Never put off tomorrow. Well, what, what you can do today. today. Huh? Dina, my love, what I don't understand is why the British Empire fell apart. Little lady all by herself? No. My husband's gone. He'll be back in a minute. He's, he's gone hunting. With a gun. Now, that's the most satisfying way to hunt with a gun, eh? <laughs> you don't mind my coming on this island? No, not at all. Why did you? I see you on your wedding day. And I know, like, the lines in my hand, this, this belly button. That's what we call this island here, you know. And uh, I figure that you're all going to need somebody to do the odd jobs around this place. Now I know who you are. You were the conductor of the band. Oh, don't let the leader of the band hear you say that. He won't talk to me no more. <laughs> Da, 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 da. <laughs> Boy, we didn't know that tune from nothing. Um. <laughs> but I know the trouble of digging ever since learning to walk. Well digging, house digging, treasure digging. This is like old times for me, you know. Ah. Needs more pulling than a wisdom tooth. <laughs> but we'll get it. Let's try again, eh? We should save this for the rock garden. Honey! Honey! 
Hey, honey, your hands must be raw. My goodness, it's fantastic what you've done here. Oh, this? It's nothing. Um, trouble is there are a lot more boulders than I expected. A lot more boulders than you expected? Mm -hmm. Afternoon. Oh, uh, Marcus, <laughs> so you're the miracle worker, huh? <laughs> Me and the little lady. She does it for the love of it. I do it for $2.50 a day plus 20 cents for the journey to and fro. Uh, what about your fishing? Well, I set the traps on the way in and I pick them up on the way out. Do we have a deal? No, uh, you have a deal for $1.75. $2. A dollar, $2. <laughs> but not for today. Today is just a sample. No charge. No? It's on the house. On the house. Oh, on the house. <laughs> Okay, let's say your hours begin at 9 and end at 6, uh, at, end at 5 and an hour off lunch, okay? Oh, you expect I should be here the same time every day, according to the clock? Sure, I expect it. What's wrong with that? <laughs> well, man, it stands to reason I gotta travel with the flow of the sea. If I travel with the sea flowing hard against me, I ride on top the same way, one hour, two hour, I never get by Camino Point. No, 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 no. Okay, uh, why don't you decide your own hours? <laughs> <laughs> that's better, that's better. <laughs> well, the current... Happy times to you both till I see you on the morning tide. Happy times. Bye bye, Marcus. Oh, he's a nice man, you know. Oh, he's the most hardworking, sweetest, polite. Wait child. a minute now. I'm not such a slouch myself. Wait till you see what I brought back to you from Road Town. Come on. <laughs> ah, you see that? All the cement to be had on the island of Tortola. The rest will be delivered tomorrow to our very own pier. You think we can call out a pier? Oh, I think we can call it anything we like. We can even make up our own language and declare it the official one for this island. But I think he's a good idea. Sounds Italian. <laughs> uh, uh, that sounds just like a donkey. Yeah, you're quite right, it was. Uh, oh, isn't he sweet? He'll make a wonderful pet. Pet? Oh. Pet my foot. He's here to work, and the sooner the better. Let's get this pet ship on shore and unload it. Okay. Yup. Okay. All right. Heave. Uh, oh. Heave. Uh, we'll have to tip him out. Okay, I'll get the rope. Okay. You got it? Yes. Well, haul him out. I am. He won't budge. Well, don't be frightened to pull hard, honey. Frightened? Are you crazy? I can't pull any harder. Try coaxing him. <laughs> Did you bring a carrot? <laughs> Eight bucks worth of donkey, and we can't even unload it. How did you get it on? I slung it on with a crane. <laughs> Double bed treatment. Oh, Lord, that means he's probably a musical donkey. He'll never stop praying. What do we do with him? We can't leave him here. Well, give me a hand, and we'll tip him out. Okay. Oh. Again? Again. Oh. 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 If he was thinking, he wouldn't budge. We'll soon see. Okay. Just hold him there, honey. I'll be with you in a minute. I thought we were going to be a little bit of trouble there for a, a while. For... Can we you... use brain over brawn. Brawn over brain. Now, all we have to do... <laughs> He'll be very useful keeping the grass down. He'll be very useful hauling stuff up that hill. <laughs>
No mail at all? Well, yeah, there was one letter. Uh, the editor regrets, etc., etc., on one of oh, my short stories. Happens. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, not unless it happens all the time. No word from your publisher about the book? No. You know how long it's been now? It's been weeks. Perhaps it never got there. Oh, it got there all right. I sent it registered airmail special delivery. All right, so one's been rejected. You've still got three more. It's been writing at all while this has been going on is something. Darling, when the house is finished, it'll be ten times easier. Yeah, well, that, that's just the point. This is the last timber. We are broke. Okay, so we live in a house with half a room. Oh, darling. Uh, that good old British sporting spirit. By Godfrey, I'll never sneer at it again. All right, now look, we're gonna have to make a lot of cut downs. Uh, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to let Marcus go. Is that all right? Okay. Hello there. Good trip? Yeah. This is what we need. Uh, uh Marcus. Um, something. Will you let that? Will you let that alone a minute, please? Uh, I'm sorry, but we can't employ you anymore. What's the trouble? We're broke, Marcus. We don't have any money. Then me and you are in the same boat. But we're not going to think that we have no money. Maybe we all go fishing for a while, eh? Is there Mr. Evan Bond here? Yeah, that's me. There's a little bitty parcel I'm bringing you from Road Town. All right, I'll come get it. You better all come. It's not something you can put in your pocket. Something turn up, or I look like a piano. <laughs> Be a great help. We don't play. All right, swing her over. Right, over the side, who to you. You ready, Dong Yeah. Yeah. Well, here she comes. Take her a bit on each shoulder like she was a coffin. No, I'm stupid to the lot. Okay? No. no. Wait a minute. Oh, I'll have to carry the thing myself. We'll never make it. Bigger than me. Oh, who's getting who here? All right, come on, No arms. Oh boy, up again. Up again. Up where? Keep her coming! Are you kidding? Is this crazy? Alright, go, 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 go! Got it. Do you want to see what is in it? Hmm? <laughs> you know, if we're careful with this wood, we can use it on top of the roof. 